This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Thank you for joining us for this News 4 Alexa update, everyone. I'm Claire Kellett. Today, Election Day, and voters will head to the polls to make their voices heard. In Missouri, you will choose the state's next U.S. Senator. The front runners are Eric Schmidt and Trudy Bush Valentine. Voters will also decide on Amendment 3 whether to legalize recreational marijuana. In St. Louis City, Jack Coder and Megan Green are running for Board of Aldermen President. And across the river in Illinois, Governor J.B. Pritzker is facing a challenge from Republicans. Republican Darren Bailey. To get a closer look at what issues are on your ballot, use our election guide on KMOV.com and the KMOV News app. And tonight, CBS's and News 4's election coverage starts at 7. Join us online for nonstop local coverage. You'll be able to view on everything from YouTube to Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku. We'll also have election results and reaction live on News 4 at 10, including a panel of political experts. We also have new information coming out this morning out of the Archdiocese of St. Louis. We are told the Archdiocese will postpone decisions about Catholic elementary school closings until 2024. Archbishop R Mitchell Rosansky released a statement late this morning saying that he will wait until after decisions are announced about consolidating Catholic parishes. This is all part of the All Things New restructuring, which will cut down the number of parishes in the St. Louis area. The Archdiocese says the delay will not impact efforts to adjust teacher compensation. That new model goes into effect next school year. For a check of the forecast now, we send things to meteorologist Leah Hill. Weather is not causing you any issues as you're headed out today. Temperatures in the lower 60s. We're going to be dry. Cloud cover will be increasing slightly throughout the afternoon. Polls closing at 7 o'clock and by that point temperatures will have dropped into the 50s. But I want to show you tomorrow's temperatures because they're going to be very near that record. Forecast in a high of 76. The record for tomorrow set back in 2020 was 78 degrees. So don't delay. Take advantage of the warm day that we have today and the warm day that we have tomorrow because it all changes coming up when this strong cold front pushes in on Friday. Thursday's temperature 72, so still feeling all right. Then we get the influences of that cold front and look at all the cold air that comes in behind it. Falling temperatures throughout the day on Friday, forecasting afternoon temperatures to be in the mid 40s. And this is going to kickstart our cold stretch that is going to last at least through mid November. Forecasting very little rain with that front. We'll have some showers developing out in central Missouri, but as they move eastward, they're going to be battling with our dry air. So we'll get some cloud cover with that cold front and a couple sprinkles, but widespread rain is not in the forecast with this. We go from 60s today to 70s tomorrow. We'll stay in the 70s with breezy conditions on Thursday. Then Friday, spot morning showers turning cold over the weekend. Temperatures in the 30s and a stretch of morning lows in the 20s. Leah, thank you and thanks to all of you for joining us for this News 4 Alexa update.